Ay. Ay, entró la. Yes. Good evening, teacher. My teacher, I know I see you. Hello. Where's Hello. The teacher? Uh, teacher, teacher. Hi, class. Uh, the teacher. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> now you. It's can... Smith, no Mister. Exactly. You were trying to find out uh, who is the teacher. Oh my God. It's okay. <laughs> Very nice teacher. Oh, why? <laughs> you don't like men? No, no. Oh yes. Um. Um. I know that a teacher is full English. Okay. Y, no. Y otro, y otro, hello. Hey, nosotros somos de inglés principiante. Y dice, ok, pero no importa. Y, y todo full inglés. <laughs> no, you know, that is the idea. The idea is to practice, okay? In my case, okay. yes, I'm going okay. to talk to Very you. Very nice. In English, but nice. maybe a little bit slow. Okay, no, slow. Voy a hablar inglés, pero tal vez no tan rápido. Don't worry. Okay, yes. Is, uh, and other the teacher is very fast. They speak <laughs> very fast. Yo, yes. Hey, it's one moment, please. I don't understand. Spill, spill, please. <laughs> okay, okay. So don't right. worry, don't worry. Yes. So let me see if I can recognize. Mm, cameras on, please. Yes. Irma, Raquel, I can recognize Irma. So we con Irma, right? Hi, Irma. And that's Yo, it. Is it, it's obligatory? It's mandatory. Yes. yes. And then like I... <laughs> Ah, don't worry, right. don't worry. Take your time, but then you can turn it on. Okay, yeah. don't worry. So I let's see. wait for your classmates. And here we go. Yeah, time yeah, yeah, flies. Tiempo está volando, so... Please, yeah. la habla ahorita, vamos a introducir en Spanish, luego vamos a English, full English. Full English. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. ¿Qué nivel vamos ya? ¿En qué nivel estamos ya, clase? Three. 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 Imagine. Principiant. Very nice job. It means yes. that you are going to talk to me in English, right? We are going to participate in English. Okay. Vamos ya por el módulo número por el 3, imagínense. Vamos con muy buen progreso. Vamos a ver. Here we go, yes. Módulo número 3. And who is the teacher? Who is the teacher? Let me show you my personal information so you can know a little bit more about the teacher. Let me see. Creo que no identifico a nadie más de los grupos anteriores. Yes, Marina. Marina, ya reconocí a Marina también. She was my student in, one, in the previous group. And that's it. So if not, look at my As information. Me. Yes, right. This is the teacher. My name or my complete name is Carmen Elena Argueta Villegas. You can call me teacher Hello. Elena, teacher Carmen, teacher Carmen Elena. That's okay. That's okay for me. Um, in the case of formación académica, um, eh, soy graduada de la Universidad de El Salvador y aparte de la licenciatura, eh, también tengo o oh, tuve la oportunidad de, de cursar un diplomado en didáctica y planificación, siempre en el área de inglés. Eh, un diplomado en diseño instruccional y creación de cursos en línea. He trabajado también creando cursos en línea, en plataformas, eh, uh -huh. grabando también contenido. Y el diplomado en traducción e interpretación. Trabajé no por largo tiempo, pero sí, traduciendo documentos legales y documentos para médicos. En el caso de la interpretación, de igual manera, eh, tuve la oportunidad de trabajar eh, como por tres meses. Fue un corto tiempo con doctores que venían a El Salvador y les ayudaba pues a la traducción espontánea o interpretación. En el caso de mi experiencia laboral, me gradué de la Universidad de El Salvador y también tuve la oportunidad de trabajar ahí en el Departamento de Idiomas Extranjeros 
el Colegio García Flamenco, también estuve ahí por un largo tiempo, 10 años trabajando ahí como coordinadora del Departamento de Inglés. Y este colegio tiene una academia que es el Centro Internacional de Idiomas. También estuve como la coordinadora también eh, del Centro Internacional de Idiomas. Con respecto a academias en línea, trabajé también con Upskill Academy. Es una academia que está en Latinoamérica. Bonita experiencia trabajar con alumnos de toda Centroamérica, México y países que uno a veces ni siquiera conoce. Es muy bonito. Educlase. Estamos acá trabajando con este grupo muy este, Bonito, también tuve la experiencia de trabajar ahí y ahorita pues inglés corporativo. Estamos con Regal International, ¿ok? Esa es mi experiencia trabajando como oh, maestra. Ah, uh, thank you. Ya tengo como 12 más años, no sé cuánto ya. De dar inglés me encanta, créanme. Me encanta, me reanima en las noches estar dando clases. Es muy bonito. So, the class rules. Pongamos desde el inicio. Oh, thank you, César. Gracias. Desde el inicio, para que sepamos que sí, la teacher nos dijo de las reglas y no me digan, no, teacher, eso no la dijo. Claro, aquí está, aquí está la evidencia. Number one, keep cameras on all the time, ¿ok? Si necesita apagarla por un momento, claro, se puede hacer, teacher, necesito moverme del lugar o estoy en la calle, como me dijeron, necesito llegar a casa, hagámoslo, pero luego. La encendemos. Trabajamos en los breakout rooms. Grupos, parejas a veces. Cualquier estudiante que yo vea que igual tenga la cámara desactivada, a menos que me esté justificando, teacher, pero es que estoy viendo el contenido en mi teléfono. Solo ahí puede tenerla apagada. Si no, lo regreso a la sala principal. La idea es practicar entre ustedes, no que lleguen a una sala y se encuentren con cámaras apagadas. ¿Y con quién practico? Pues no. Practiquemos entre todos. Participate. Participate. Don't be afraid to participate. Pero es que mi pronunciación, teacher, no me gusta. Solo así la vamos a mejorar. Ok, teacher, pero es que me da pena. Todos estamos en el mismo nivel. Ok. Todos sus compañeros están en el mismo nivel. Están cruzando el mismo nivel. Entonces, no hay excusa. Participate. Be on time in every class. Muy puntuales. Lo felicito. Be on time in every class. Um, mute your microphones. Como estamos desde casa, si vamos a participar, perfecto. Open your microphone. If not, mute your microphone. ¿Ok? Para evitar interferencia. Puede ser que tenga un ventilador a la par o mascotas que están haciendo interferencia y no me deja escuchar el audio, teacher, o la pronunciación. And the last two. ¿Quién puede leer los últimos dos? Very important. Who can help me? This one and this one. Yep. This and this one. Help each Other, ayudarnos los unos a otros. Si estoy trabajando en grupos, en parejas, yo puedo corregir, claro que sí, puedo corregir a mi compañero con la intención que él mejore, ¿ok? No porque yo me creo más, no. Ah, se me olvidó cómo se pronunciaba esta palabra. Ah, yo le ayudo a mi compañero. Nos ayudamos entre todos. And the last one, ask for help. ¿Cómo voy a saber yo que tienen dudas, que no quedó claro el tema? Solo si ustedes expresan, ¿ok? Ask for help. La teacher, si les pregunta questions y todos se quedan callados, ¿qué voy a entender yo? Que todo quedó claro. ¡Wow! Voy a estar súper feliz, pero capaz no, no han entendido. No, clase. Ask for help. Y solo en la clase puedo pedir ayuda, teacher. No. Para eso está el chat grupal. Ahí también aprovechemos ese recurso que tenemos. Teacher, el ejercicio de la plataforma no me funciona. Voy al chat grupal, ahí lo expreso. Puede ser que algún compañero ya identificó el error, se lo dice en el momento y así podemos seguir 
con los ejercicios de la plataforma o no sé, por darles una idea, ¿ok? So, ask for help. No tengan pena que puedan decir mi pregunta, puede ser muy básica, teacher, se van a reír de mí. No, todo es válido. Remember, we are learning a new language. Estamos aprendiendo un nuevo idioma. O sea, lo felicito que ya vamos por el nivel 3. Llevamos un buen progreso, ¿ok? Nuevo idioma, imagine. No es cualquier cosa, ¿ok? Así que pregunten y pidan ayuda. Esa es la clave. Let's continue. What else do we have? Quiero ver qué más tenemos. Vamos a tener cuántas semanas. Semanas. Cuatro. Cuatro semanas. Eh, Empezando ahora. ¿Qué fecha es ahora? Sí, ¿verdad? Estamos bien. 2 de mayo al 26 de mayo. Semana 1, we are going to complete section number 1, week number 2. Espero eh, igual, sección 2, 3 y el midterm exam. Week number 3, section number 4. And the last week, section number 5. And the final exam. Si se fijan, nosotros estamos de lunes a lunes a viernes, ¿verdad? Yes, right. O de lunes a jueves. De lunes a jueves. A jueves. Ah, si No le voy a agregar una, sec una sección más el viernes. No, teacher, please no. De lunes a jueves. ¿Qué significa? Que para el día jueves, al finalizar la clase de inglés, la sección tiene que estar completa. ¿Ok? completa porque yo ya vi todo el contenido, ya aclaré mis dudas en clase, ya completé el ejercicio. Sección 1, semana 1, sección 2 y 3 y el midterm exam, semana 2. Sección 4, semana 3 y el final exam, semana número 4. ¿Ok? ¿Podemos hacer eso? Can we do that class? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. No, we can. All yes, clear. We can. we can. Para el día yes. jueves, sección completa. No, eh, no me voy a sentir bien que me estén diciendo, ¿qué pasó con tus alumnos? No me han completado la sección. Y que les estén llamando y que les estén diciendo, ¿qué pasó? ¿Dónde está el compromiso? Créanme que las secciones no son difíciles. Si algo no se entiende, pues en la clase. Lo completamos entre todos para que quede claro, ¿ok? So, para este módulo tenemos un día de asueto. ¿Qué día nos cae de asueto en el mes de mayo? Chicken town. Diez. El diez de tenth, mayo. Mother day, day the mother. ¿Qué sería la otra semana? Semana número dos. ¿Qué va a pasar entonces con el 10 de mayo? Asueto, no hay clase. Pero se corre la clase para el día viernes, viernes 3. Significa que vamos a tener clase el 9 de mayo, 11, 12 y 13, en esa semana, ¿ok? Va a ser nuestra única semana en donde vamos a correr un día y tenemos clase el viernes. Con la semana 3 y 4 no hay problema. Clase de lunes a jueves. Al igual que estas primeras semanas, de lunes a jueves. ¿Está clara esa información, chicos? ¿Es it clear? Yes. Yes. Vaya, pues no yes. quiero que me haga faltar este viernes. Yo. ¿Dónde están mis okay. estudiantes? En asueto, en vacaciones. No. Solo el 10 le doy permiso. Ok, ahí. No clases. Forget about homework and everything. Pero reponemos ese día el viernes. Please. Please. Ok. Ok. So, antes que olvide esa información, mejor se la digo. Let's begin right now. Teacher. Here we go, teacher. What is my name? Okay. ¿Cuál era mi nombre? Do you still remember? Your name, your name is Carmen. Elena. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Very good. No se les ha olvidado. So, this is ok. This information. In this class, we are going to start with section number one. Section number one, it's about 
What are you going to do? That is the questions that we are going to have in section number one. What are you going to do? The topic for today is month and date. Month and date. Siempre en cada clase les voy a poner cuál es el tema para que se vayan guiando en sus apuntes. Cuál clase vamos eh, y cuál es el tema. Okay, section number one. What are you going to do? Month and date. And this is class number one. But before we continue with this class, I really need to know about you. I really need to know who my students are. Okay. So what are we going to do right now? I really want to listen to this information about you. My name is, and tell me about your hobbies. What do you like to do in your time, in your free time? In my case, my name is Carmen Elena Argueta, and my favorite hobbies are um, watching videos in YouTube and what else? What else do I like to do? And go shopping. I really like to do that. Okay, so those are my hobbies. Think about to hobbies, write the information in your notebook, and then I'm going to ask each of you, okay? Tell me, Alili. Uh, teacher, is going to pass a list? Mm, I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? Is going to pass a list? Yes, yes. No. Pasar? I guess I didn't, I didn't get it. Well, um, the last, and uh, the name, uh, other, the, the last group. one. Why, why? Okay. Okay, so write the information and then I'm going to ask you one minute, un minuto para completar eso, please. And then we can start with the presentation. Just one minute. Very good. Tell me about your hobbies. That's it. And your name. Okay. Are you ready, teacher? Very good. If you're ready, say, I finished, teacher. I'm ready. I'm ready, finished, good, teacher. Finish. My name is Rosemary. My favorite hobbies are play soccer. To play soccer. Wow, interesting. Excellent. Okay. Let me ask for volunteers, like Aleli did. Levanten la manita uh -huh. virtual. Raise your yes. virtual hand so I can see who is going to participate in order. And please, I need Zaira, Kimberly, Iris, Elena, with your cameras on. Marina as well, Walter. Camera okay. On. My name is Aleli. In my favorite hobby is reading and book, um, practice crochet. Really? Crochet? Yes. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Thank you. Do you want me to call you Aleli? Aleli le llamo, ¿verdad? Aleli. Yes. Hey, that's my a name very, is Aleli. Very beautiful name. Primera vez que escucho okay. Aleli. Very beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Next one. Let me see. I have... Elvis, you're the next one. Hi, good night. My name is Elvis Rauda. My favorite hobbies are listen music, cook, and watch movies. And to watch movies. What watch kind movies. of movies? What kind of movies do you like? Comedia, no sé cómo se dice comedia. Comedy, comedy movies. Comedy. Comedy movies. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Elvis. Walter, can you continue, please? Okay. Good night, everybody. Hello. My name is Walter. My favorite uh, hobby is also watch movies. Okay. Especially action movies. 
action or sci-fi oh sci-fi movies wow okay. interesting thank you so I, much. i want to clarify that i am i am using two devices oh. here i am i watching the computer uh -huh. the screen and this is the cell phone oh that's why i see your picture here, computer yes right yes okay you're right so you are always going to use two devices in every class exactly okay mejor que me lo diga That's porque right. así cuando lo una a los grupos uno a los dos dispositivos en la misma sesión thank you for letting me know that thank you okay gladys gladys go ahead please my name is gladys justiniano este my favorite hob hobbies was movies with what movies or comics with my family with your family okay hey interesting so gladys or elizabeth how do you want me to call you elizabeth elizabeth thank you elizabeth cesar can you continue please my name is cesar ramirez uh, my favorite hobby is, is listen to music, uh, play the basketball, and game, get the phone. Okay. And learn, <laughs> With your cell phone, yeah. yes? Yeah, everybody. And that's it. Excellent, excellent, Cesar. Thank you. Really nice and interesting information. Kimberly, can you continue, please? Okay, hello, good night. Uh, my name is Kimberly Fuentes. Um, my favorite hobby is listening to music and cooking and watch the movies of love. Oh, very nice. You don't like action movies, you love romantic movies, love movies. Very good. Yes, romantic. <laughs> romantic movies. Oh, Thank you. You're welcome. Sonia, can you tell me about you, Sonia? Hi, good night. Oh, night. Um, my name is Sonia Bernal. My favorite hobby is uh, travel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. To travel in the inside the country or to go out of the country? And uh, in in the country. In the country, okay. Yes, yes. Interesting, interesting, Sonia. <laughs> okay. Very good. Let's continue with. Okay, raise your hand. Los que no han pasado, raise your hand so I can know. Let me see, Anna, Stephanie. You're the next one. Hello, good night. Hello. Um, my name is Anna. Okay. Uh, my favorite hobby is listen to music and watch videos. Um, watch movie. What kind of movie? Mm -hmm. Yes. I guess I didn't listen. What type of movie? The repeat or no? ¿Qué tipo de movies? Um, Comedy, romantic movies. Mm, um, comedy. Okay, comedy movie. <laughs> okay, do you want me to call you Anna or Stephanie? Anna. Anna, okay, excellent, mm -hmm. Anna. Great. Maria Lucila, please. My name is Maria Lucila Soto Ponce. My favorite colleagues are dancing, watching movie order. Wow, horror movies, interesting. Look at this, uh, this lady, she's not afraid. A mí no me dan miedo, teacher. Excellent, interesting information. Fernando, you're the next one. Hello, Hello. my name is Fernando Mendoza. My favorite hobby are watching video on Facebook mm -hmm. and listen to music. And if, what type of music do you like to listen? What do you say? ¿Qué tipo de música le gusta escuchar? What type of music? Oh, eh, ranchera. 
Rancheras Music, Banda Music, Rancheras ¿no? Music. Rancheras. Sí. Wow, Rancheras Music. Excellent, Fernando. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you, Fernando. It is Elena, you're the next one. Okay, good night, everyone. My name is Iris Ventura, and my favorite hobby is what movie or series? Supernatural series and movie. Okay, very good job. That's it? Eso es todo? Yes? <laughs> okay, thank you. So, Iris or Elena, how do you want me to call you? Iris or Elena? I, I like Iris. Iris, okay, Iris. Thank you, Iris. Nurian, Nurian Karina, go ahead, please. Hi, good night. Hi, good night to you. Uh, my, my name is Nurian Karina Ortiz Garcia. Mm -hmm. And my favorite hobby are listening to music and what series and time with my family. Okay, with your family. Very good. Hey, thank you. And nice information. Nurian, yeah. right? Nurian or Karina? How do you want me to call? Karina. You? Karina. Karina. Very good. Karina. Thanks. Zaira, Jamilet, continue, please. Uh, good night. Uh, my name is Zaira Jamilet Figueroa Melara. Uh, my favorite hobby is listening to the music. Mm -hmm. And go to the gym. To go to the gym. Okay, interesting. Going to the gym, I like it. Very good job. So, Zaira or Jamilet, how do you want me to call you? Uh, Zaira. Zaira, okay, Zaira, thank you so much. Roxana, Roxana Beatriz, please. Go. Good night. Hi, good, thank uh, you. My name is Roxana Beatriz Aguilar Gomez. My favorite hobby is listen the music, uh, sow plants, mm -hmm. and take care of the garden. Oh, okay, very good. Gardening, gardening, así se le llama. Muy bien, gardening, excellent. Who is missing? ¿Quién me falta? Let me see. Rosemary. Did you present already? I pressed. I am here, teacher. I fui la primera. Okay. My you name is Rosemary, my favorite. Oh, hay otra Rosemary. No, you're the only one. <laughs> Yo, teacher. I can see. Me, teacher. Who's saying me, teacher? Okay, go please. Thank you. Yes, uh, my name is Jessica Presa. Uh, my favorite hobby is listening music and singing. And singing. Wow, interesting. She can <laughs> sing right now. Yes. Interesting. Thank you, Jessica. Who else is missing? Let's go fast. Who is missing? Nelson, please go. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello. My name is Nelson Melgar. My favorite hobbies are I watch videos in YouTube mm -hmm. about uh, technology and I play soccer and listen to music. And listen to music. What type of music do you listen? Um, romantic music. Okay, interesting, romantic music. In English. Ah, there you go. Not Spanish teacher, English. There you go, excellent, very good. Let me see, I guess I'm missing Marina and Irma. Girls, I need to listen about you. So you cla your classmates can know about you. Marina, can you present right now? Uh, yes, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Uh, yeah. My name is Marina, and um, my favorite hobby are watching series on Netflix and read, read books. And Thank you. 
de mi cámara que está apagada de ir a casa. Este, eh, eh, si me podían dar permiso de que me vengo todavía de camino. Pero... Ok, ok, ok. Don't worry, don't worry. Yes, class. Cuando tengan problemas de conexión o de audio, solo díganme, ok? Don't worry, don't worry. Who else? Who else is missing? ¿Quién me falta? Irma, please go ahead. Hello, my name is Irma Raquel. My favorite topic is watch television. Okay. Only that, to watch television. Solamente eso. Yes? Sí. Ok, interesting. So, who is missing? ¿Quién falta? Nobody. I guess nobody, right? Are you sure? If not, here we go. No more Spanish. Time to practice right now with this class. For today, as I mentioned before, we need to go to the platform. Let me ask you, did you visit the platform already? ¿Ya fueron a la plataforma? Yes, no, teacher. No, right? Yes, teacher. No. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes just yes. in order to ask, yes. solo para saber si todos pudieron ingresar, si no hay ningún problema. Yes. No, I have yes. the problem. You don't have no a problem. problem with the platform. No problem. Okay. So let me show you the platform. And by the way, listen, in every class, I'm going to be taking the attendance list at the beginning. Cada clase tomaré la asistencia siempre al inicio. So, en el caso que se me olvide, teacher no ha pasado la lista, please remind me. Remind me, acuérdenme, okay? Teacher la lista. Please, please. So here we go. Let me show you the platform. This is the way that it looks. Look, this is what we have for this course. Section number one, what are you going to do? This is what we're going to cover for today's session. And the first topic that we have, it's a very interesting and useful topic, okay? Because we need to practice saying dates in English. We are going to practice in the first video how we can practice numbers in English. What type of numbers? Ordinal numbers. Numeros ordinales, okay? That in Spanish, they are first, second, third, or Primero, segundo, tercero. Esos son los números ordinarios. Mm -hmm. So, look at the objective. By the end of this class, you will learn the months and dates. Additionally, you will learn about birthdays. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán los meses y las fechas. Adicionalmente, aprenderán sobre cumpleaños. Let's watch the first video. So we can practice pronunciation. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the months and dates. Additionally, you'll learn about birth dates. Let's get started by listening and practicing the Just months listen, okay? and dates. Let's listen. Practice the months and the dates. Months. January. February. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Dates, first, second, third, fourth. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, 
Thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth. Twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, thirtieth, thirty first. Now let's learn how to talk about your birthday. The question is, when is your birthday? My birthday is on. April fifth. To express birthdays or to express any particular date, we can follow this next formula. That's special day, plus the verb to be, plus the preposition on, plus month, plus the date. Let's put that formula into practice. My birthday is on April fifth. The special day is my birthday. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month April. Uh, finally, we include the date fifth. Let me give one more example. Okay, the when last is example. Independence Day in the U.S. Independence Day is on July 4th. The、uh, special day is Independence Day. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month July, and finally, we include the date fourth. Now it's your turn to practice by expressing the special days or holidays from your country. For example, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, or Christmas. Very good. It's time to practice. If you notice, he was giving us an example on how we can express special dates. In this case, we are going to talk about birthdays. Birthdays. But let me show you. Let's give a short explanation about the correct way. To pronounce, in this case,、um, ordinal numbers. So remember, we have cardinal numbers in English, and we also have ordinal numbers. ¿Cuál vamos a utilizar para dar la fecha clase? Ordinal or cardinal numbers in English? Cardinal. Cardinal.、Mm -hmm. To keep dates, not really. Ordinal, ordinal numbers, exactly. In Spanish, we use cardinal. So, what is the difference? Can you mention the cardinal numbers? What are the cardinales? Cardinal numbers. One, two, three, four, and so on. Esos son los cardinales. And we have first, second, third, fourth, and so on. So those are ordinal numbers. So when we talk about dates, we are going to use ordinal numbers to talk about. Dates. 
fechas, dates, okay? Ordinal numbers. So don't forget this information. No olviden esta información, please. Don't forget this information. Ordinal numbers, okay? Let's go back to the video so you can listen and repeat with the audio. Ordinal numbers. Here we go. Let's click on play. Hi, everyone. In this class, Additionally, you'll learn about birth dates. Let's get started by okay. listening and practicing the months, months and dates. Months. Practice the months and the dates. Months. January. 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 One more time. January. Everybody, let's repeat. January. 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 February. 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 March. February. March. 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 April. 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 Very good. May. 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 June. 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 July. 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 August. 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 September. 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 October. 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 November. 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 December. 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 Okay. I guess the easiest one to pronounce are these ones. The easy. September, October, November, December. No problem, right? Very easy to pronounce. But when we pronounce these ones, January. 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 The January. pronunciation goes up. January. January. February. February. Very good. March. 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 It's March. easy, right? This is easy. I guess this is March. Easy. Lo ponemos en nuestra lista de fáciles. March. 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 And March. then we have. April. 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 July. Uh, don't say July. No, July. No. July. 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 And August. 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 September, October, November, December. Very easy. Okay. So let me repeat so you can listen. January, February. January. January, February, 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 March, January, February, March, March. April, 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 May, 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 June, June, July, July, August, August, September, September, October. October, November, 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 and December. And December. Okay, do I have volunteers? Do I have volunteers to pronounce months? Months. Excellent. Aleli, go please. The first one. And then Fernando. Well, I have so many volunteers. Excellent. Aleli, go please. Okay. January, February, March, April. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Excellent pronunciation. Very good. Fernando, go ahead, please. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, 
August, September, October, November, December. Okay, pronounce this one, please. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, so Zaira and Fernando, how do you pronounce this one? No se ve creo, wait. This one, Mayo in English. How do you pronounce that one? This one. May. Is it my May. or May? May. May. Very good. So, Saira, let's repeat. May. May. Fernando, let's repeat. May. May. Very May. good. Okay. Excellent. Elvis, continue, please. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. There you go. Great pronunciation. Do I have some other volunteers or not? Thank you. The last volunteer, Pablo, go ahead, please. And then Gladys. Okay. January, February. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. There you go. Great pronunciation. Gladys, please. It's the January, February, March, April. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, very good. Let's repeat this one. January. January. One more time. January. 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 Okay, let me stop sharing. January, ¿en dónde va la fuerza de voz en January? January. Decimos January o January. 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 Tres sílabas. January. January. ¿Dónde va la mayor fuerza de voz? ¿Aquí? ¿Aquí o aquí? January. 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 No, yo escucho January. January. Mm. January. January, February, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Todos llevan esa entonación. All of them, okay? So go, please, again. Otra vez hagámoslo, please. January. January. February, March, April, May, April, May, May, June, June, July, uh -huh. August, August, September, September October, October, November, November December. December. Okay, let me have the first one. Let me see. I guess it was somebody. Alguien tenía la mano levantada. Who was it? No, it was you, right? So, Gladys. 
the last I, it was you very good Gladys, the last time. I know you can do it, Gladys. Go ahead and yo, try, please. Yo tengo la mano levantada ya rato. <laughs> oh, it was you. Yeah, right? <laughs> Por el televisor no me ve. <laughs> no, because you're on television. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Por eso no se ve la mano. Yes, right? Okay. And Gladys, in the last one, you're going to be the last one, Cesar, okay? Because of the time. Go, please. Hola. Se me fue Gladys, no Gladys. Gladys, no, ya. one more time, please. I know you can do it. Otra vez pronunciémoslo. Go, please. <laughs> ok. January. Hoy sí. Yes, very good. January, February, March. April. April. April, June. July. Oh, August. August. Oh, huh? August. 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 September. October. November. December. Okay. ¿Y qué pasó con mayo? Ajá, mi documento. mayo. Uh, no, please. This month. May. 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 And May. February. 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 There we go, February. And Cesar, please go ahead and pronounce it. All right. <laughs> there we go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Very good job, excellent. You see, you were the last, but not the least, el último. Thank you very much. Okay. Class, really short class. Miren, se nos acabó la clase, but wait. Attendance list. Paso la asistencia para ver si sus nombres también están bien escritos, ok? Escuchen bien. Cualquier corrección me la hacen saber. Here we go. Let me look. Teacher, y al principio no pasó lista o sí. Eh, no, por la presentación que tuvimos, eh, por eso solo en esta clase no pasamos lista al inicio. Okay? So in every class is at the beginning. But just for this day. Let me see. Ok, grupo de las nueve a las diez. Here we go. Where is it? Aquí estamos. Ya los encontré. Aleli Concepción Mariona de Coto. Present teacher. Very good. Ana Stephanie Durán Rosales. Present. Ok. César Alexander Ramírez Ramírez. Present teacher. Elvis Aníbal Rauda Torres. Present teacher. Fernando Arturo Mendoza Pulunto. Fernando. Se le fue la señal. Pichu. Fernando was here, right? Gerson Vladimir Borja Hernández. Gladys Elizabeth Justiniano Durán. Present, teacher. Very good. Iris Elena Ventura Martínez. Irma Raquel García de Monterroso. Present. Jessica Marielos Montes Gómez. Present teacher. Josué Neftalí Cibrián Hernández. Okay. María Lucila Soto Ponce. I'm here. Very good. Marina del Carmen Menéndez de García. Present. Okay. Nelson Rolando Melgar. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Nurian Karina Ortiz García. Present, teacher. Okay. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Present teacher. 
Rebeca Eunice Hernández Roda. Present teacher. Okay. Rosemary Beatriz Ramírez Someta. I'm here, present teacher. Okay. Roxana Beatriz Aguilar Gómez. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Pérez Bernal. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Quintanilla Cortés. Here. Wilson Alejandro Romero Juárez. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Jessica Marilu Presa Urruela. It's me, teacher. Thank you. And Zaira Yamilet Figueroa Milar. Present. Very good. ¿Alguien que no haya mencionado? ¿O todos están presentes? Yo, teacher, no sé si me mencionó Kimberly. Let me see. Yes. Sí, present. Aquí está. Muy bien, Kimberly. Any other? Yo también. Iris Ventura. Iris Elena. Yes, it's present. Ya, yeah, aquí está. So, class. Listen. ¿Cuándo nos vamos a...? Bueno, tenemos dos minutos todavía. Mañana. ¿Qué aprendimos ahora, mejor dicho? What did we learn today? It was a very short class, but please, we practice about what? What was the topic for today? Uh, the uh, numbers are cardinals in numbers, ordinal numbers. In ordinal numbers. And the and correct month. pronunciation. Uh, yes, yes. A day to month. Month. So for tomorrow, we are going to practice ordinal numbers pronunciation. That is the topic for tomorrow class questions I can, about the class. I can do more in English. Ah, okay. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> okay, questions about the class now? Comments about the first class? No. Why are you so quiet? Todo bien quieto. Espérense las próximas clases, las próximas clases, todos participan, okay? So, thank you so much for joining this class. Just give me a second. I'm going to take a screenshot in every class. I take the screenshot and I'm going to share the same, uh, the vocabulary that we were practicing. Just let me ask you. Solo déjenme preguntarles. Todos obtuvieron el libro del alumno, del estudiante. Yes? No? Yes. yes. El manual yes. del estudiante? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Why? Yes. ¿Por qué les pregunto? Because if you notice, si se fijan, vamos a ir lección y el libro también. Vamos a ocupar el libro okay. también, no solo la plataforma. So, cuando veamos parte del libro, please, I need you to be working with your books. Ejercicios que completemos, tenga su libro abierto a la parte, ¿ok? Porque cuando vayamos a los breakout rooms, vamos a hacer el ejercicio de trabajar en grupos y ustedes uno de ustedes comparte pantalla en la página que estamos trabajando en el ejercicio. Había olvidado, creo, decirles eso. Vamos a trabajar de esa manera. Así que libros descargados, revisen el contenido. Sí, sí. Vamos a ver. Ya es claro. Este, yo no sé cuál es el libro, porque la plataforma sí ya la abrí, ¿verdad? Bien. Ahí aparece el manual. Sí, ah, siempre en la plataforma. Al lado está... superior derecho. Exactly, there we are. So, hoy sí. Si no hay más preguntas, questions, yes, no? No question. If not, we are going to stop the class here. I'm going to see you when? Tomorrow for the second class, okay? Thank you so much for joining. See you tomorrow. Good Have evening, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.